The weather is absolutely miserable today, so I do apologise for the light in advance. <sighs> my hair's a mess. My makeup, uh, I've gone for an effy look today. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah. I found this jumper like in one of my boxes and I really love it, but I really don't like the embroidery. So if anyone has any tips on how to get that out, I've tried with like tweezers, but that is just gonna take too damn long. But if I do have to sit there one night and untweeze it all just to have this cute jumper, then I will. I've just rewatched Aaron and Joe reacting to Princess and the Pop Star, so I've got to be a pop star is to know which mic to use. Stuck in my head. Thanks Aaron babes, thanks Joe babes. Also guys, look what I crocheted my little sister. <laughs> Stop it, it's so cute. I used the fluffy yellow yarn that I showed you when I was showing you like my yarn collection. I made him a little swing so that it can be hung up. It's, it's, it's adorable, I love him. I showed the yarn in the scrap jumper video and I kind of want to restart that jumper because I've seen this YouTube video and it makes me kind of want to like take it all apart and do a jumper like this instead of just a double crochet the entire way through. So I might do that and then the next scrap jumper update it'll look completely different. I'll not do it on camera but yeah I kind of want to do that because it's really cute. I'm going to be playing with my hair a lot today in today's video because it's just it's just simply not doing as it's told and it's really annoying me. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. It is officially spoopy season and I am so excited for all of the Halloween content coming your way my darlings and autumn content don't worry. As I've mentioned in a couple of videos I'm doing the 31 days of Halloween granny squares well Halloween slash autumn granny squares but I'm doing it off camera just to cause like less stress to me personally. But it is the fifth today so I have done four. Me and my sister sit down, she does her 31 days of drawing prompts and I do my 31 days of granny squares, it's kind of cute. But yeah I'll show you the ones that I've done so far in a second but today I thought I would run you through my Pinterest board for said granny squares. Um, I haven't I don't have an order really, I just choose the ones that I have the yarn for at the moment. I'll be getting some more yarn towards the middle of this month so I'll be able to get more colours, therefore make more granny squares and do more content for you guys. But yeah, I'm just going to run through my autumn slash Halloween granny squares for you guys, give you a little bit of inspiration, give me inspiration. Some of them are very literal and some of them are more like colour scheme based or pattern based. Um, some of them are different patterns but I imagine them in different colours to make it more autumn slash Halloween. Um, if you see me come back and I have a completely different fringe it's because it's just not doing as it's told today. So I'll probably go out every like 10-15 minutes and redo my fringe and then come back and it'll be really like styled and then it'll just drop. I use hairspray and everything it just I, I, I don't know what's up with it today. For everything that I'll be talking about today will be linked down below in the description in a Pinterest board and have different sections in as well so you can go and check those out. But without further ado let's get into it my darlings. So I've split today's categories into just Halloween and then autumnal and some of them have the same granny squares in each but like different designs. So the original plan was to do autumnal ones the first half of the month and non-autumnal ones the second half of the month but I've kind of just chosen the ones that I felt like doing that day, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, I've also done them in different sizes so that when it does come to making the blanket it's not all like symmetrical that makes sense that literally makes complete sense I don't know why I said that the first one that I kickstarted with you've already seen and it's this little pumpkin guy which way is it meant to be that way <laughs> it's this little pumpkin guy I've weaved in his ends he's all complete and he goes in the pile I basically I'm, I was really bad with it and I skipped three days because I was stressing out about that last video so I basically sat down last night and I did three um, and all the ends are not weaved in but I started with this little moon one I love him. I've made him with that um, fluffy yellow yarn. I think he's probably my favourite out of all of them, I'm not gonna lie. Little Crescent Moon, he's super cute. I'll also put up the YouTube videos that I followed or the um, written patterns that I followed for each of these as well. And then I did this one. I love making eyes. I have come to the conclusion that eyes are one of my favourite things to make and I was doing this one. Oh, I used the glittery like black for this and I absolutely love it. I really want to make another eye sweater after doing this so love making eyes and then I did this one. I do like her. She's a little skull and I just did her with the 
glittery black as well. I think that glittery black is gonna be in a lot of these just because it adds a little bit more witchiness to these. But yeah, those are the four that I have so far. I've not weaved in the ends of the last three, but I'm really excited to do this and it does kind of make me wanna make granny square clothing. Okay, I've just had to go and take a serious breather because I was getting really, really annoyed. And you can see I'm on the brink of tears. Anyway, rock on, cool, rock star. Okay, so I just had to remove myself to have a little bit of a scream and a little bit of a cry because I am very, very stressed. I am very hormonal and I, I am not doing too great. But ha. we are gonna do this. Hip hip hooray. I'm not sure where I got to, but let's start off with autumnal patterns. Now, like I said, some of these are mainly color based. Some are pattern based, but I can see with different colors. And then other ones are just things that remind me of autumn and foresting and collecting berries in my little basket, my little dress. So when I think of autumn, I automatically think of me being my little green witch, kitchen witchy self and all celestial. So I've included some like moons, some stars. My personal favorite, obviously I've mentioned this many a times is sunflowers. I love sunflowers. So there are quite a few sunflower patterns here as well. There are these other flowers, these, they've got like really autumnal colors, like the red, the blue, uh, the red and the blue, no. Like the red, the brown and the mustard yellow, I think are super duper cute. Then we have a lot, a lot of pumpkins. Now the pumpkin one that I've saved on here with the white around the edges the one that I did to make my pumpkin and then there's one with green around the edge but then there are also some of these cluster stitch ones which make the pumpkins look 3d around the edge which I think are super duper cool obviously I had to include this now I know some people might not think that it's very autumnal but when I think of autumn I think of Hogwarts so I had to include the Deathly Hollows granny square just as a little fun one not exactly like shouting autumn but to me it's like an autumn association then there is this black cat one with like a sunset in the background, like the sun, I think that's really, really cool. Again, I'm not sure whether to put this into Halloween or whether to put it into autumn, but again, I just think of cats. Every time I think of autumn, I think of me and my ginger cat, um, well, me and my future ginger cat schnapps. Then there are these leaf ones. I'm definitely doing one of these ones that have more black and a nicer like autumnal red as well. We have quite a few mushroom ones. This slanted mushroom one is probably one of my favorites or this 3D mushroom one, which has been made into a, like a little coin purse. I think that's super duper cute as well. Then there are a few acorn ones. This acorn one is the one that I'm gonna do tonight actually. Um, I was supposed to do it last night, but I ended up doing the skull one instead. We have this spiderweb one. Again, I've put some spider ones in autumn and some spider ones one spider web ones in halloween as well because i just associate it out like autumn the season with spiders in general this leaf granny square as well which is like 3d leaves i think this is super cute a little bit more time because you have to crochet the leaves separate but that's fine and then we just have some more color ones um these are just there for the colors and the patterns basically like this granny square that's been made into a beanie and then these granny squares as well which are red white and green and they're alternating in what colors go where and then last but certainly not least is this hexagon cardigan with granny squares on the back i just think that this is autumn in a nutshell in a piece of clothing and it's absolutely beautiful a lot of these are repetitive so i'll be pouring up a bunch whilst i'm talking through them but the your acorns, your moons, your pumpkins, your sunflowers, your regular flowers, just autumnal colours, your stars, you know. But then with these you can make things like I said, hexagon card hexagon hexagon cardigans with granny square detailing, full granny square cardigans, whether it's made up of little patchwork ones or whether it's a huge granny square made into a cardigan or a shawl maybe. You can make your tote bags, you can make little money bags, you can it, it's endless. The possibilities are endless with granny squares and I am learning to love them. I've never been someone who's been like itching to make anything granny square based but i think after this i probably will because they are really easy to work up and really quick to work up as well um depending on the pattern obviously but that is it for the autumnal side i'm sorry there aren't that many different ones but it is like i said it's just your repeating ones like your mushrooms but done in a different way whether that's the 3d they're 2d they're bigger they're smaller there's a lot of them there's only one of them the different colors different shapes blah 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 
Now moving on to Halloween, the Halloween section is more like novelty based. Like here we have a spider but also we have like a bat and a werewolf and they're, I'm pretty sure they're done by the same person, Love Crafts. But they are more like novelty instead of like, oh this reminds me of Halloween, it's just like yeah this is Halloween. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Speaking of which, we have a Nightmare Before Christmas one. Um, This isn't actually a Granny Square, I don't think, looking at it now. No, this is tapestry, but I just wanted to include this anyway. So this is tapestry. I always do this, I can never stick to the theme. I'm just like, oh, I see this. I want to include this because it's Halloween. We also have these Frankenstein and Skellington ones as well. Um, there's a mummy version of it. Uh, my sister liked this one with like the little candy corns on and it has like the swirly lollipop. Then we have this little ghosty and he's super duper cool because he's glow in the dark. I want some glow in the dark yarn for no reason whatsoever apart from the fact that it glows in the dark. Um, but obviously that's the only reason that you get it so shut up Mel. We have quite a few spiderweb ones as well. I've not done a spiderweb um, granny square yet because I'm not sure which one I want to do. I'm not sure whether I want to do one of these where like it's mainly 2D and then it's got like little 3D accents or whether to do a completely 3D one and put a little spider on there as well um, or whether to just do an actual spider. I'm not too sure. I might do both. I might do all three. Who knows? Then we have the skull ones. Um, skull ones? Why did I quiver? Ones. Now these are basically the same but different designs on the outside. So there's this one which is done with blues and purples and it's alternating in colours. We have this red one which I think is super neat. Super neat. <laughs> I've never used that describing word before which I think is super cool. I don't have a red yarn, which I need to purchase, but that'd be super duper cool. We have some more stars, some more pentagrams. Um, I've saved this one as well. This is so cool. It's like, um, oh, what is it called? If you know what film or program this is from, please let me know because I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, that's from, and then I can't remember what it's from, but please tell me it's super cool. It's basically it's skin and it's got a face and it's pinned. Kind of gruesome but I love it. Then there's this other pentagram granny square. I love the multicoloured yarn that they've used in the middle of this. I think it's super duper cute, super whimsical. Um, then we have a crystal ball granny square. This is definitely next on my list but the only purple and pink that I have is chunky yarn so I need to get some thin chunky yarn. I do have a baby pink but I'd rather use a brighter pink for this. Um, then we have some patterns that just remind me of Christmas. There's this um, black and white like spiral one it just reminds me of nightmare before christmas there's this halloween one which is like black and orange as well reminds me of jack-o-lantern then there is this one i think this is probably the coolest one that i've found but it's black and white again and it says it's an afghan blanket rug oh my god it's a rug this is a rug <laughs> how many times i gotta tell you my name ain't earning no more it's ice this is ice that's what reminded me of. Um, this is a blanket rug. I genuinely thought that this was a granny square. What an idiot. Anyway, that's really cute. Then we have this Halloween crochet bag and that's just got different patterns of, of granny squares included in it. Oh, we also have the eye granny square. This is the reference that I used. I didn't follow a tutorial on the eye one. I just basically made it up to look like that. And it came out pretty well, I'd say. Like I said, I don't have any red yarn at the moment, so I couldn't do the like shocked pupils um, that this other one has, but as soon as I do, I'll probably be adding that with just a little needle and thread. And then I saved this. This is just like a bunch of Halloween granny square um, patterns. And then last, but certainly not least, is this patchwork um, pillar. Uh, just has again a bunch of Halloween designs, whether they are photos or whether they are just like, Halloween colour. Probably one of my favourite colour combinations. It's the, it's got mustard, red, green and then a dark grey and I just think it looks super duper cool, like super Frankenstein-esque. And then also this like checkered colour as well, the checkered shit. I don't know. And then also this checkered pattern which is like purple and grey. I never think to put purple and grey together but I think it'd be super duper cute, evidently. It looks cute as heck. But yeah, that is basically it. I, this has been a very, very short video. Um, it's been very stressful today. I don't know why, but it's just been really stressful. And then the video itself has taken me like 15, 20 minutes to film, which is a lot less than usual. 
But I hope there are a few designs in there that inspire you. And if you are doing the 31 days of Halloween slash autumnal granny squares, please let me know. Please keep me updated. I'm loving seeing everyone's designs. People are sending me designs or like works in progress or whatever they're doing on Instagram and it's making me very very happy tagging me in stories and saying that they've seen my video and they've been like inspired to make things absolutely in love with all those interactions so thank you very much I had something to bring up to you guys and I'm kind of like chucking it out there but I think I might post about it anyway but I had somebody asked me if I ever thought about setting up a discord and the truth is I already have I've set one up I've named everything I've even put like my own little stickers in there I did this about two weeks ago I think just just because I'm one of those people who thinks about doing a lot of things but then never gets around to doing it or like when it comes to doing it I'm like oh it was a good idea but then I just the thought of doing it now is like no so I was like right whilst you've got it in your head do it set up a discord sort it all out and then when you feel comfortable share it with people and someone asked me if I had one so I do and if that's something that you'd be interested in then please let me know it'd just basically be like a really cozy nice space on like the internet in discord just sharing things asking people questions it's just like a safe space to crochet like I've got quite a few tabs things like questions ideas and feedback music recommendations because I'm a big music head we all know this um whips and final pieces so you can send them in and people can be like oh my god that's sick or like if you need any advice on like how to improve it then a nice friendly way to do that instead of like putting it into reddit and having loads of people be like bah, 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 you know what I mean reddit's a scary place um youtube video recommendations or like youtube channel recommendations and then pet corner because i absolutely love animals and i would love to see all of your little animals um but yeah i thought i'd put it at the end of the video because i want people who like you know actually enjoy this type of content to be on there instead of like just it getting to the wrong side of the internet and me saying it within the first five seconds and then we have loads of people trolling in the chat which is not nice but it'll also be a place where i can like get feedback from you guys to improve the youtube channel the youtube videos um other social medias i'll be posting there when when i'll be posting maybe some like early access type things um i'm very aware that i'm like an under 5k channel but the like the the close-knit community is what i want and i feel like getting a kickstart on that early on in the channel's progress would be a great way of doing that and just just feeling more connected with you guys you know what i mean then there's also like a lounge bit where we can just talk absolute shit yeah if that's something you're interested in then i will link it down below in the description and i look forward to speaking to you guys other than in the youtube comments and on instagram it'll be one of those things where if you want to be active you can be active if you don't want to you don't have to you don't have to send in things you can just look at other people and see what other people are doing it is entirely up to you but yeah that is basically everything that i have found for halloween slash autumn granny squares i'll keep you updated on how my granny squares are personally going probably in like every video that i do up until halloween like i said everything that i mentioned will be linked down below in the pinterest board and also if i've like followed any youtube tutorials for the granny squares i'll link those down there as well i have been like really into alt knots lately so i'm gonna like tag their channel down below because i've just been really into the content lately and i've been binge watching them the entire week so I'm gonna put that down there because why not? Because I can, so I will. But yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mwah, mwah.